Look at that beautiful tapping footage. So here's my crazy idea. I'm going to find center of this pulley so I can drill and tap it for a set screw. I don't have a wiggler. I got a bid that's ending any moment on eBay. Let's go see how it's going. Here it is. It's got a beautiful Starrett wiggler set. 16 minutes, 8 seconds to go. I got a sniper bid in of like $18.99, which is probably too cheap. I think I might increase it. $5.75 shipping. This is a beautiful set. It's worth 30 bucks to me. I just need to up, upgrade my sniper bid to about 25 Let's do it. This is a service I use called Just Snipe, so I don't have to watch an auction. Uh, I'm going to edit this one. I'm going to change this to $24.99. So I'll have about $30 in this set, which is as much as I would ever want to spend on it. So let's see what I get for it. Or let's see what I get it for, or if I get it. So notice it's sitting at $15.50 right now. Let's see what it ends up selling for. We'll come back to this in a moment. Obviously, a wiggler is the best way to do this. Now, if I miss this by ten thousandths, it doesn't really make any difference. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. It's the best way that I have. I'm gonna, yep, let's see. Let's let's start from this side. Now would be an excellent time to clean up my my dial. We have a quarter inch drill bit. And I should be able to detect it's running it's running pretty true. Should be able to detect when it touches the pulley. I have to be careful here. I don't have a good bite on this pulley. There it is. We got a touch. So our diameter is two inches three fifty-eight. Now we have to move back towards us half the diameter of the drill bit to get the center of the drill bit on the surface of the pulley. Now my backlash is taken up because I was already bringing the part towards me. So I'm going to continue that, and one turn of the dial is a hundred thousandths, so I went all the way around to zero, now I'm going to go 25, from zero to 90 is 10, from 90 to 80 is 10, from 80 to 85 is 125. So this tip, the center of this tip should be on the edge of the pulley, and remember we read the diameter Maybe you can see that. To be two inches three fifty-eight. So that means we need to be I need to move the pulley back one half this distance. So two inches three fifty-eight. That would be one inch one fifty one seventy-five. One seventy-five is half of three fifty plus four to get half of the eight. So it would be 179. So 1 inch, 179. So I'm going to re zero my dial. And an inch is a thousand. So remember, I got to come back 1 inch, 179. So there's a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. Ten hundred is a thousand. We we'll go one seventy nine. So there's one hundred. We're on the zero. We've done one inch one hundred. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. So we should be dead in the center of that pulley. Now there's a way we can do a little gut check here. You're not directly over this, so you're not going to be able to see it as well as I. And I would say yes, we're directly dead center. Okay, in this dimension I can probably eyeball it within 10 thou. I don't need to find the exact center, it's not important. For heaven's sake, it's just a pulley. Now the camera eye is just a little bit below the drill bit. I would say we're there. Now, I'm going to install a center drill. Yeah, that looks high in the camera. Let me raise you up. You're about equal with the with the drill now. And you're around at an angle. You're not at 90 degrees. So that's why it looks like we're off center. But we're not. We can drill our 5 16 18 hole. Let's check on the eBay item. Check it out. 2 minutes and 53 seconds. It's already been bid up over what my bid was. I had it sitting at, a, I don't know, 1850, 1899. It's already up to 2050. My bid's going to pop in in the last 8 seconds. Let's see if we get it. Check it out. It just finished. Sorry, I didn't get you the final seconds. $25. Uh, da -da -da, 16 bids. Let's go see. Yay, I was the last one. Oh no, I stopped at $24.99. This guy got me at $25. Bucks. Dang! I guess I still don't own a Wiggler. Dag on it. Have to look for another one. Man, that was a nice clean set. So I checked what drill size to use. Half ass drill bit charts. Time to use a 1764. And that's fine for steel for a 50% thread engagement. But when you look on littlemachineshop.com, they have a much better tap and drill and clearance hole chart. And it tells you that for a 75% thread, which is correct for aluminum and plastics, you use an F drill bit, which is 257. So this is about 8,000 smaller, but I'll have a stronger thread for doing it right. Oh, did I forget to mention? My chuck's bigger than your chuck. My chuck's bigger than yours. Double checking my height. I'm happy with that. What do you say? Let's center drill it. I was going to do this project on the drill press. But oh, it would have been hard to find and hold center. And I thought, hey! I got a milling attachment. Now I'm going to take it really easy on this milling attachment. Sure don't want to move this pulley. I'm going to keep my hand on it just so I can feel if it moves. Probably turning this little center drill too slow. There we are. I'm going to do this with uh, two bits. First one's going to be 3 16ths. 
assuming it's not bent. It looks a little bent. No, it looks good. Check out that beautiful chip footage. Looby dooby on there. I don't need no stinking milling machine. Actually, I do. I've had mine tore apart for so long. It's really beginning to frustrate me every time I need it. There we are. We've broken through, Scotty! I don't want to forget to mention, my chuck's bigger than your chuck. Yep. I see you're sticking through. Man, that's a chuck key. That's chuck key, man. That's all chuck key. Pull the pin. I can turn this by hand. I'm kind of lightly pushing the carriage. Towards the chuck. Got enough threads now it can pull itself. Whew. I should lubricate it before you start tapping. It's a 59B headstock chuck. Very handy tool. baby all the way through to the promised land look at that beautiful tapping footage yeah I think I eyeballed it close enough to it don't give it give a damn anyways does it probably should have chamfered that before I took it out of there but hey, we're okay. We only have to put a set screw in it one time. I'll just make sure there's no burrs the old-fashioned way. So tomorrow, we unbox a brooch kit.